a monster. monster. Japanese fighter called Monster. <laughs> he's, be, he, he's better than Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao was blue like that. Just as good. The most efficient hunting Ooh. machine in all of boxing. He's vicious. Naoya Inoue is a Japanese professional boxer nicknamed The Monster. Inoue is renowned for his timing, speed, punching power, and body punching ability, boasting an impressive knockout ratio of 90.4%. He is a four-division world champion and the second male boxer to achieve undisputed champion status in two different weight classes in the four-belt era. Now, let's watch all of his knockout victories. At times frustrating. His hands are like that. In a way, we throw a shot and then he'll. Oh, yeah, in a way. He's now the first fighter from Asia to be a four belt undisputed champion. All four are his. The king of the bantamweights. Now, yeah, in a way. On October 2nd, 2012, Naoya Inoue made his debut in the professional boxing scene against Chris Omayao from the Philippines. In the first round, the monster punished the Filipino fighter with devastating body shots. The Filipino fighter endured the pain and continued to dance with Inoue, but the monster delivered heavy punishment nonetheless. The fight lasted four rounds and Inoue finished his adversary with shotgun-like body shots. The Filipino fighter was writhing in pain, showing the toll of Inoue's relentless assault. The monster claimed victory in his first fight with a devastating body shot knockout. Three months later, Naoya fought his next opponent and finished him with just one punch. That punch sent his opponent into another dimension. His opponent just smiled and accepted his fate. In his third fight, Naoya fought against another Japanese fighter, Yuki Kono. The monster sent his fellow countrymen to the canvas in the early rounds of the fight. However, he decided to continue enduring punishment from Inoue's punches, delivered with violent intentions. But in the 10th and final round, the referee had seen enough and stopped the monster. After securing the Japanese light flyweight title, Naoya faced Jerson Mancio in a bout for the vacant Oriental and Pacific light flyweight belt. As always, Naoya dominated his adversary, schooling him with a boxing masterclass. The monster pounded Mancio's face like a punching bag with his powerful punches. In the second round, Mancio was knocked down by Inoue's forceful blows. The fighter decided to persist, but in the fifth round, the monster went on a rampage, ultimately finishing the fight. On his sixth fight, Naoya Anoe challenged the then current WBC World Light Flyweight Champion, Adrian Hernandez. As a challenger, 
Inoue fearlessly unleashed lethal body blows on Hernandez. The monster made it seem like the champion was an amateur. In their sixth round, they engaged in a slugfest, trading blows as if depositing them in their own bank accounts. Naoya dropped the champion with a subatomic right hand punch. The champion seemed to give up, ultimately making Naoya the new WBC light flyweight champion. After becoming the world champion, Naoya defended his title. His challenger from Thailand lasted until the 11th round in their title fight. <laughs> But the referee halted the monster's relentless onslaught, calling an end to the fight. Naoya Inoue relinquished his belt and moved up a division to challenge the WBO World Super Flyweight Champion Omar Narvaez. In the first round, the southpaw Narvaez was left stunned by the monster's immense power. Ioya sent Narvaez down twice in the first round. Narvaez managed to survive the first round, but soon realized that their skills and power were not on equal footing. In the second round, Naoya completely decimated Narvaez, demonstrating overwhelming superiority in the fight. And he finished him with a bone-crushing body blow. The monster successfully claimed his second division world championship title. Naoya then proceeded to defend the Super Flyweight World title, facing Warlido Parenas as his first challenger. Naoya easily defended his title, showcasing a superior performance and outclassing Parenas. Parenas survived the first onslaught, but the monster was eager to secure a finish. In the next fight, Naoya faced a tough opponent, and their battle persisted until the 10th round. But Naoya Inoue showcased precisely why he's the world champion, demonstrating his exceptional skill. Beating his opponent until his body collapsed, he secured the victory. The monster's next challenger was Kohei Kono, another Japanese fighter. In their clash, Naoya displayed combinations at a monster level. The monster proved he's a true champion, showcasing exceptional skill and power, dominating the fight convincingly. In the sixth round, Naoya Inoue shocked Kono with a knockout reminiscent of Manny Pacquiao's style. Unlike Hatton, Kono managed to stand up. To be completely destroyed by the monster. The monster's winning streak continued with 12 wins, 10 of which were by knockout.
His next challenger for the WBO Super Flyweight belt was Ricardo Rodriguez. In the early rounds, Naoya peppered Rodriguez with sharp and forceful punches from both sides. In the third round, he utilized his left hand like a shotgun, delivering precise blows to Rodriguez. The Mexican survived the first onslaught, but the monster was eager to defeat him. Naoya's next challenger is from America, marking his first fight in the States as he defends his world title. In the first round, Naoya hits his opponent with a damaging 1-2 combo. In the final seconds of the second round, Nevis is saved by the bell. However, in the fifth round, Nevis couldn't be saved as he was hunted down by the monster. The monster landed a blow to his midsection, sending him to the canvas. There it is. First time down as a pro for Nevis, first time in the ring. Naoya seized the opportunity and focused his attack solely on Nevis's body. And there's another one. Anything. Another left hook to the body. Back to the body. During round six, Naoya unleashed a series of vicious blows punishing Antonio. Where trainer Joseph Delguide has a decision to make. And he has made the decision. The fight was stopped by Nevis's trainer. So it'll be a technical knockout at the end of the upcoming fight marks Naoya Inoue's final bout in the super flyweight division. The challenger, Yoan Boyo, is a boxer boasting 41 wins. However, his experience did not save him from the monster. Naoya made him feel the power of his left hand. Fortunately, he was saved by the bell at the end of the first round. But the monster dominated and overwhelmed him in the following rounds. The monster repeatedly brought him to his knees before delivering the finishing blows. Naoya moved up to his third division, Bantamweight, and challenged the WBA World Bantamweight Champion, Jamie McDonnell. But this fight didn't make the monster break a sweat, because he demolished McDonnell in the first round. He completely destroyed him, showcasing superior skill and power. making Naoya Inoue a three-division world champion. Now, the monster will compete in the World Boxing Super Series for the Muhammad Ali Trophy. The first opponent he'll face, unfortunately for him, is Juan Carlos Payano. After the bell rang, the monster finished Payano with just two punches. A majority decision against the Russian <laughs> and he doesn't know where he is, he's face down, the referee is holding the count, and it is all over! Naoya Inoue! The monster continued in the tournament and faced his next opponent, Emmanuel Rodriguez. In the first round, Naoya played it safe, patiently waiting for the right opportunity. Toe-to-toe -to -toe action, first round! Oh, big shot to the body, Inoue! But in the second round, Naoya switched to monster mode and completely dominated Rodriguez. Some flurry, and he's down. He's got against Rodriguez. Here comes 
comes in away. Oh, he's got it to take much more than that. In a way, he's waiting. Still two minutes to go, Jim. This is unbelievable for Inoue. Third time he's gone down, rolled over. After clinching the World Boxing Series, Naoya was challenged by Jason Maloney for the IBF and WBA bantamweight belts. But, as always, Naoya Inoue destroyed the challenger finishing him with devastating punches to secure the knockout. Will be a household name. The next challenger is the Filipino veteran, Michael Dasmarinas. However, Naoya easily defeated him with bone-crushing punches, hammering his ribs in the third round. The monster then faced another Japanese fighter, Aran Dipayan. This fight lasted until the eighth round, but Naoya finished it with another knockout win. Aaron needed assistance after the fight. Naoya's next opponent is the Hall of Famer, Nonito Donaire, for their rematch after Naoya defeated him in the World Boxing Super Series. But in the rematch, Naoya completely dominates the legend, beating him via a second round knockout. And then, Naoya fought Paul Butler to become the undisputed champion in the bantamweight division. Their clash went the distance, with Butler surviving until round 11, but the monster just dismantled him, treating him like a punching bag. Naoya Inoue then moved up a weight class to super bantamweight and challenged Stephen Fulton for the WBC and WBO super bantamweight belts. The American was outclassed by the Japanese monster in the eighth round, succumbing to the onslaught and facing defeat. This victory crowned Naoya as a four-division world champion. And just five months later, Naoya fought the IBF and WBA super bantamweight champion Marlon Tapales. He finished Tapales in the 10th round with his explosive right hand, 